Fusion Project Manager is your central hub for navigating and handling the various projects you're working on. In this video, we'll guide you through its features and tell you how you can make the most of them to enhance your own editing experience. When you're inside a project, tapping this icon on the bottom left of your timeline will take you out to the Project Manager, the home of your video projects. From here, you're able to navigate through and manage all the work you've been doing in LumaFusion. Each project within the project manager is accompanied by a film strip. This offers an idea of its contents, but if you want to see the content in more detail, tap once to select a project and simply drag your finger left and right across the film strip to scrub through it, or actually use the icons on the preview to watch it through. Without actually going into the project's timeline itself, you can see what it's about, choosing whether or not you want to dive into it and even export using the share icon here if you choose to do so. What's more, you'll also see some of the project's information such as length, frames per second, aspect ratio, date and time last opened and date created. More information can be found by tapping the information icon on the preview of the selected project. You can change the details of a project by making sure it's selected and tapping the settings icon here, just as you do when you're in a project's timeline. For those of you that like to be very organized when you edit, you can color code your projects using these circular icons to the left of the film strips, perhaps choosing a certain color for a particular type of project, like for example, purple for features and yellow for instructional videos, or perhaps you'd like to use the colours to remind you of which videos are finished, which are in progress and which are urgently need of some TLC. That's up to you of course, as is how you name your projects, which you can edit by simply tapping on the wording here. You might also like to add some notes to your work that you can see when viewing your projects in the project manager. These are useful when searching through your projects using the search icon here, which picks up on project names and notes, but also frames per second, aspect ratio or color tags. Sorting projects is equally straightforward. Select sort to see your projects listed via different fields like created date or title. But the project manager enables you to do much more than just view and sort your existing projects. Here at the bottom, you can create new projects within the app, import external ones into your device, duplicate them, optimize and consolidate them, and delete projects altogether. Every time you make a new project or edit an existing one, it'll automatically be saved within the project manager, meaning you don't have to worry about saving every time you make a change or worry that your device is going to run out of battery. You can also duplicate projects here with a simple tap, enabling you to work on the same timeline content with perhaps different properties, like for example, a different frame aspect ratio. Original and duplicate projects are managed independently, so you can edit multiple versions of a project as much as you like. To remove a project, tap delete for the selected project. To restore a project that you've previously removed, tap this icon with the downwards arrow to restore the project backup, choosing from the selection of auto saves offered to you. It's worth noting here that project backups only save the data of your project, such as placement of clips on the timeline and changes made in the clip editors. Backups do not save project media, so you will need to access this from your device should you choose to restore your projects. Additionally, with the same icon, you can also import a project package that's saved on an external drive or in the cloud. This is a great way for you to edit projects that your friends or colleagues have started on their own devices, or maybe for you just to work on a timeline that you've backed up months ago. And finally, you can choose to optimize and consolidate your projects with this icon if there's a playback or export issue within your project. This is a feature that resolves most performance and sync issues, which we'll dive into deeper in another video. It's useful to note at this stage though, that both options optimize and consolidate and consolidate only will create a duplicate project in your project manager, leaving your original project safe and sound unchanged with the original media. 
However you use the project manager to sort, manage and view your various projects, this is an area within the app you'll be using all the time. So it really is worth getting stuck into it and starting to use these features to make your editing workflow as seamless as possible.